The cutting chain on your chainsaw is made up of a series of teeth and drive links that are riveted together. As you use the saw, the teeth will become dull. They will be damaged if they strike a rock or a nail. The drive links will wear as they run through the guide bar. They will wear faster if dirt gets into the guide bar's groove or if the saws run without bar oil. The drive links can be damaged if the chain comes off the bar while using the saw. Replacing the cutting chain is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the bar and chain from the lopper. First, I'll remove the battery. Now I'll open the loppers and remove the bolts that secure the bar to the saw. I'll remove the cover. Now I can remove the bar and chain. I'll start with the chain. I'll lift the chain away from the sprocket. And pull it off of the bar. Now I can remove the chain from the bar. And I'll remove the bar from the saw. And now I can install the new chain. I'll place the bar back onto the saw. Now I can install the chain. I need to place the chain so the teeth point the right direction. Notice on the saw, it tells you the direction that the chain rotates. The teeth should be pointing back towards the saw as they rotate. With the cutting teeth pointed back, I'll open the lopper and first place the chain around the tip of the bar. Then I'll work the chain onto the bar Now I can pull the bar all the way towards the rear of the saw to release the tension from the chain and work the chain around the sprocket. And now I'll reinstall the cover. And that's all it takes to install a new chain on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.